Hey guys, so these LEGO Harry Potter minifigures that I ordered finally arrived. They are Percival Graves and Jacob Kowalski. So obviously the Percival Graves is a lot rarer. I found him for a really, really good price, so that's pretty good. And Jacob Kowalski, I kind of wanted him, so I'll just so I just bought him as well. He wasn't too expensive. I'll explain why I bought those two specifically and not any others in a bit once we've opened them up. So let's go ahead and do that. Actually, before we do, um, you may have heard in my Secrets of Dumbledore custom minifigures video that, um, I mentioned in that that I would be getting that Percival Graves figure and the Jacob Kowalski figure, as well as, um, Credence Barebone. I ordered Credence from a different person, so he will be arriving either a bit before Christmas, which is good, which will be good, or, like, early January, and I'm on holidays early January, so... If he doesn't, if he arrives early January, then I'll probably make a video of him mid-January or so. So, I'm pretty sure this one is Kowalski because the guy said that, um, this one would be open and resealed to check that it was actually Kowalski, and it looks like this one has a bit of tape on the side from that. And he also said that Percival would be marked with that little red X on there. So yeah, this one's probably Percival and that one's probably Kowalski. Let's open them up. Yay, I'm excited. Open up Kowalski first because, well, most likely Kowalski because he's the least exciting one of them. All right, let's cut it open. And I didn't cut far enough, as always. Okay, I've got the camera at a better angle now. Now let's open him up. Here we go. Oh yes, it is indeed Kowalski. Oh yeah, let's go. <laughs> it's so unfortunate getting no leg printing on a CMF figure. I'm just, I, they could have put something, surely. Like some side leg printing or some like pockets or something. Oh yes, so good to get that smiling face for Kowalski instead of just the grumpy one from the Newt Case of Magical Creatures. Oh yeah, that's nice. I really like the detail on the torso, and no back printing as well. Kind of disappointing for the figure, but good to have, just so that he's does he hasn't got the, like, vest on from when they face the um, Arumpin at Central Park. All right, and the new suitcase piece. This is my first time getting it, and it looks so cool. And they did just use the same book cover piece from the new books as well. So I'll put that on. Oh yeah, that is nice. That is very nice. And the little baked goods can go in there. Oh yeah, that's pretty cool. I like that. Noise. And now to open up a really good condition sealed, well not good condition, perfect condition, sealed Percival Graves. This kind of makes me disappointed, but I want the figure, so. Let's do it. Yes! It's Percival Graves. I mean, I wasn't doubting it, but like... Yes, they didn't scam me. Oh my gosh. I got this guy for a really good price. 30 bucks, and he's got the leg printing, the arm printing, the back printing. Damn, that arm printing really brings it together. Alright, and the face. That really looks perfect for the actor. I just love, I just love that face. And that sick hair piece. Wow, I can use that for Moff Gideon. Oh yeah, that is so cool. And let's grab him the wand. I don't like these old wand pieces. I'm so glad they like changed the well, not the piece, just the just the mold thing they came they come on. Glad they changed that. It's way easier to get them off the new ones. All right, here we go. Percival Graves. Oh yeah, that is so cool. So cool. I'll give you a closer look at him. Again, the hair piece is just so cool. Really suits him. And let's change him to Grindelwald. And the hair piece. Oh yeah, so cool. So 
So besides the fact that Percival Graves is really rare, you may be wondering why I bought these two guys specifically. Because, as we know, there are six different Fantastic Beast figures in the CMF. So, um, I didn't get Newt because I have the LEGO Dimensions one, who is quite similar, except the face print is new, but I can just switch that out for the one from Newt's Case of Magical Creatures, and I have the Niffler from Newt's, Newt's Case of Magical Creatures. Um, I also had a spare one of the right coloured one for Newt. As we can see, they're the same as that one. Um, and I can have the suitcase from Jacob Kowalski. I didn't get Tina because I have the Lego Dimensions one of her as well. Oh yeah, annoyingly with Newt, um, he doesn't have dual molded legs like this one, but that's not too big of a problem. And for Tina, I have the older version of her from Lego Dimensions. Um, I'm conflicted about whether the blue or the grey are better for her, but, um, and obviously the face print is exclusive to that, like the Newt's Case of Magical Creatures version, these two have the same face print, whereas this one has that different one. Um, I'm not sure which one I prefer, but this one is good enough, even though it doesn't have dual molded legs again. Um, Jacob Kowalski, I did get him because Newt's Case of Magical Creatures has this version, which even though he does come with a like, this is him with the helmet and vest from when they're taking on the Arumpant. Even though he does come with a hairpiece that is the same, by the way, um, he only, he still is wearing the vest, and I don't have any, um, this kind of torso without yellow hands. So, um, also, this one only has a sad face and one with the helmet straps, so I did want a happy one to be able to use, so it's good to get that. And also, I wanted him for the suitcase. And also those baked goods don't do any harm. And I didn't get Queenie because I have the version of her from Newt's Case of Magical Creatures. And even though she's in a different outfit and has a different face print, she does wear this outfit for like 50% of the movie. So good enough. On um, Credence Barebone, he's coming. And Percival Graves, I got him. So yeah, I also do have the... Old, the other Grindelwald figure, who is different to this one in the face print. I don't know why they didn't include the moustache on this version of Grindelwald, so I don't really know which one I want to use really, but yeah, I don't know. I might just use this one for Crimes of Grindelwald and this one for Fantastic Beasts, but yeah, we'll see for that. Also, this hair piece is just sick. It's great for Moff Gideon. I tried it on him and it looks so cool. Here are the parts from my custom Jacob Kowalski from the Secrets of Dumbledore trailer, and I was forced to use this face print with the scowl kind of on him, but now that I have this one with the smiley face, well, not smiley face, smiling face, I guess we can put that on him to make him be more accurate, and there we go. That looks a lot better, I think. So if we take a closer look at these figures, so Jacob Kowalski, I think the smiling face kind of looks weird. This one probably looks more accurate in terms of like the face lines and stuff. I reckon they could have done a bit of a better job for the happy face. Um, the hairpiece is obviously accurate. Um, no double-sided face, kind of disappointing there. Could have given him, even just this face again, I wouldn't have minded just to have something so I don't have to bother switching out the heads all the time. Um, he has the torso print, which I think looks good. The blue there works, I think, even though at first glance in the movie it looks gray. Um, no leg printing or back printing is disappointing for a CMF figure. They surely could have given him some shoes with side leg printing to get them on there. I don't know, something would have been good. New suitcase piece. It's, it, it is epic, this is my first time getting it. I really like it, I like how they utilize the book opening piece so they only had to make one new mold. I really like the golden um, locks printed on there. And the two baked goods, the two one by one circular tiles, they're also pretty good. Something I've been looking forward to, looking forward to do when I'm doing, uh, something I've been looking forward to doing when I get this new suitcase piece is testing something out. Of course, you can fit the Niffler in there, posed coming out of the suitcase, but unlike with the old suitcase piece, you can actually fit in 
a whole minifigure torso to pose Newt coming out of his suitcase or something. So that I really like. See, it looks like he's coming out of the suitcase. It's so cool. I can pose that in like Fantastic Beast scenes that I make. It's sick. I love it. It's great. I'm so glad they made that. Not sure if it was intentional, but surely they would have made it so that Newt can come out of his suitcase. It's, it's just perfect. All right, now let's take a look at Percival Graves in detail. Oh, so for Percival Graves. So when he is in his Percival Graves appearance, the face print is amazing. It's really good, really suits the actor. Although I do wish they would have included a second headpiece so that we could have gotten a double-sided face for Grindelwald and Percival Graves, just so he doesn't isn't always smiling. But um, yeah, there's only one piece as the accessory, unless you count the wand as an accessory, which I guess it is. But if we look at like Jacob Kowalski, he has two pieces inside the suitcase and the two-piece suitcase. So surely they could have given us a second head, like just, please, why not? It's just, <laughs> I really wish they had, I really wish they had. Anyway, that torso print is really good. Let me see if I can angle the light on it a bit better. That's a little bit better. Um, yeah, I like how it's got the white inside there to represent the white coming out of the inside of his cloak. Um, the blue scarf looks really nice on there. That can be useful for a lot of custom figures. The arm printing also looks really great with the collar kind of parting at the end there. And the legs really work. They carry over from the torso really nicely. Um, the back printing also works and is accurate. I like how it's got the scarf going across the back. Um, the wand, obviously, is the Elder Wand, because it's the same that comes on the other Grindelwald figure, and also Dumbledore's. I don't have any of my Dumbledore's here now, though. Um, and the hairpiece. This is obviously the main reason you're going to be buying this if you're not going to... If it's not for Percival Graves, so I wanted Percival Graves as a character, but... So if this is the second main reason that I'm buying this. It, for one, really suits the hairstyle that he has in the movie. I really like it, but it will also be really good for custom minifigures because a lot of characters have that kind of look around there. For example, Moff Gideon, who uses that same hairpiece just in plain black. And I did look at this before and it looks really good. So I'll show you guys how that looks. Look at that. That just adds so much more detail to Moff Gideon, and it looks fantastic. I'm pretty sure a lot of people used this hairpiece for custom Moff Gideons before it came out, but I hadn't seen it on the actual figure before, and my gosh, does it look amazing. If you have Moff Gideon and Percival Graves, I definitely recommend using that hairpiece for Moff Gideon. I'm probably going to keep it on Percival Graves and Moff Gideon with the normal one, but if I were to make a stop motion movie or something that used Moff Gideon or make a or set up a display of some sort that involves Moff Gideon, I would a hundred percent use this hairpiece. I just realized I completely forgot to show Percival Graves' Grindelwald look when he when either the polyjuice potion wears off or all the charms are worn off. We can't tell if it's that because um we don't know if Percival Graves was an actual person outside who Grindelwald was playing him as. So, um, yeah, he might, Grindelwald might have just been using charms to change his hair and his facial features and stuff to look like that. So yeah, we just don't know. It, was it a polyjuice potion or something? Because we don't know if it, if it wore off, it would probably be a polyjuice potion. But Newt just did a revelio on him, so yeah, we don't know. Either way, I think it's a pretty accurate Grindelwald. I do like ha the style of this face print better, but I would have liked if they included the moustache on this one as well to make it accurate. Don't know why they didn't, but if you're gonna use Grindelwald, I don't know, just use whichever one your personal preference is. I don't know which one I would use if I was gonna make him, use him in a stop motion movie of some sort, I don't know, but yeah. Oh yeah, the back print is really similar, by the way. <laughs> Just with the scarf, not there. Is he wearing the... He might be wearing, like, the same... Oh no, it's not the same coat, because it's got... This one has the white underneath. Yeah, he doesn't wear the same clothes. Anyway, that... Anyway, that just about does it for the video. So, as I said, that just about does it. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.